Hi, Nisha. Good evening. Good evening, Deepshika. How are, are you? you? I'm, I'm very good. well. Uh, thank you so much for being here and saving uh, this. I think we had a little technical glitch and we lost Ash. But thank you for uh, coming on early. Uh, I, is your lights and everything okay? Because you were so scared about your lights. Uh, I, I mean, was. Is it seeming all right to you? Absolutely, all right. absolutely. Okay. And it's wonderful to be here. And heartiest congratulations to the paradigm shift and to you and to Tasha and Tanuj. And I've seen it, the whole, the seed being sown and it coming to fruition and the kind of hard work that you put in and live after live and the content getting better and, you know, the kind of inspirational people that you had on and your yeah. mentors that you just had on. I think I'm going to move from being a mentor to a student. I think there's lots I can learn there. <laughs> so here's a candidate for being a student too. You are too kind and too modest, Nisha. You have so much to give, and now we are going to we are going to tap into that. So before you begin, I'm going to uh, I'm just going to uh, quickly uh, talk about you. Nisha Gupta is an independent etiquette and image coach. Uh, she trains uh, individuals and organizations to become the best, better versions or best versions of themselves. And her entire detailed profile is on our website, The Paradigm Shift. Dot in. So Nisha, you know, you were my lucky mascot. You were the first guest on the paradigm shift. And would you like to tell us uh, from uh, the first episode to the hundredth episode, did you have any paradigm shifts? So first of all, I think it was symbiotic and mutually, uh, you know, lucky. So you, you were a lucky mascot and not just did we do that first but I think, uh, you know, the, the whole uh, progress was like um, so much more. We did sessions and we had workshops. And so I'm thinking that uh, it was wonderful for both of us. And right. uh, yes, as far as um, the depth of the paradigm shift itself, there's so much much that's happened and you've been aware of the journey and you know that when I work I work with um, people from across all strata all age groups from students to corporates to homemakers and yes. the most wonderful thing that has happened in the last few days uh, that was all over the headlines is yes. the Supreme Court having said that the homemaker is equal in in her um, whatever she brings home or what she does in parity with what her husband earns. Why do I think this is a paradigm shift? Simply because amongst everybody that I work with, you know, a lot of the times uh, the we're always dealing as etiquette and image coaches. What we're dealing with is the inner paradigm how right. a person is feeling about themselves. And that's yeah. the reason why you get to uh, an image coach in the first place. So when I, when I work with homemakers um, or housewives, a lot of the times when I ask this question in getting to know my uh, you know, person in front of me or the client better, so to say, I'm only a housewife. And then it takes this whole thing for me to work and say, but hey, there's much more to you. And you know, I, I, years ago in, in my own journey, you know, as mentors, if we just technically know our stuff, if we are just, um, uh, shall we say, adept or uh, have our credentials in place and we work with clients, it's very transactional. But if we walk the path, it's different. So many years ago in my own life, when, uh, you know, child rearing and uh, careers, career took a pause and child rearing was like uh, primary and many things happened, I went through this phase where I was like, Am I only a housewife? And that's when uh, the seeds for my blog, The Domestic Goddess, came up. And for me, the paradigm shift has been that finally the domestic goddess has got her recognition. And oh, that has fun. been so wonderful for me, simply because yeah. so many of my clients who have been homemakers will today very proudly 
be able to shine as these domestic goddesses. So that has been a paradigm shift in this whole pandemic year, which was a black swan event, you know, you also yeah. uh, came came to fruition <laughs> at this whole time. So I, I think that this was, um, uh, this has been a huge paradigm shift. And I'm, I've worked with a lot of uh, women in this time, in this one year, women uh, empowerment for women in the marginalized societies. And for me now, this has been so wonderful, this whole, you know, uh, Supreme Court ruling. So that yes, is something I Beautiful. was really joyful about. Thank you so much for bringing this to light and, you know, explaining this. This is amazing because this is something that everybody goes through. You know, this is such a boost to uh, the homemaker. We, we cannot say housewife. We, we have to be like absolutely Domestic correct. Domestic goddess. Domestic goddess. You got it right, girl. Okay. So before you leave, would you like to leave us with, uh, leave our viewers with something to bite on? Um, okay, so very quickly, you know how I love telling stories and uh, let me tell you two very quick stories, but I'll, I'll condense them because we don't have too much time. They're from my childhood. There are loads of stories. I grew up in an army home and there were loads of stories, but two that I'm going to share today simply because they resonate with the paradigm shift. So there was a story I would hear my father tell me about this, uh, you know, battle exercise when they have to actually. Have I lost you? We Did lost I lose you? Yeah, yeah. Now, now, yes. now you're okay. Now you're back. Yes. So, you know, when to, to get operationally ready, to be battle ready, they keep having battle exercises in which uh, some lot are the enemy and some lot are, you know, uh, so they did different parts. And in one of these exercises, they were performing at this uh, high altitude in Ladakh somewhere. And uh, there was this entire battalion that had to move to a particular point to counteract the enemy. But mm -hmm. with either wrong uh, orders or wrong comprehension or something like that, the movement became uh, treacherous and they were stuck in a snow field and they okay. were totally lost and absolutely black with snow blinded and all of that. And when they came back to base camp, they were very crestfallen. And my dad, because he was commanding this thing, came and told his the person who was senior saying, sir, I'm very sorry we were lost to which the senior officer actually turned around and said um go and have your men attended to you were not lost you have found yourself to me the wow. story is amazing i shall tell you why because all of us in life have worked with conditions, things we've been told. And sometimes right. you need to lose those conditions. You need to lose those preconceptions. You need to break through those barriers in order to find yourself. And wow. that itself is a paradigm shift because when you break all of that, you explore potential, you explore sides of yourself that is unique to you. That is your journey. That wow. isn't prescribed, that's not textbook, and that's not told to you by someone else. So that's one little story. And another quick one was from my mom. We were posted in this little place called Wellington. It's uh, near Kunur. It's like a little hill station. In the evening, she had like a lot of dignitaries or some senior people coming for dinner. And she had to go and go shopping to buy stuff. And she was going to drive herself. And my dad's helper, they're called orderlies, uh, said, I'll come along with you only to her horror to realized that in this winding road the horn was not working and the brake fluid was also less and oh she was so panicked so when they reached the the, the turn she was so surprised because the oddly instead of you know she tried to honk and instead of like uh, you know he told her don't panic he pulled out his lanyard you know what the lanyard is the police and all have a rope with a whistle okay. and he blew the whistle and the traffic stopped and that's how they went so she was really horrified but then she decided <laughs> oh this is the journey and it's fun and they laughingly went she shopped and it was a grand success Simple story. Wow. What it means is in life, sometimes you'll find obstacles on the paths to your goal. 
don't worry about those obstacles don't change your goal but find different ways around to that very wow. same goal and that wow. itself will be the paradigm shift and wow. also while you're taking that journey make it funny humorous and light because it's only one time and keep it light so with that i'm going to say i hope there's something for everyone but i really wish you lots of luck and i really wish you lots of success and good luck to all the mentors god bless thank you so much nisha those were such beautiful stories and i know you're with your parents right now say hi to both of them they're such so beautiful and i keep telling them uh, telling that to them and you all the time for you know uh, making you the person that you are and that is so so beautiful and it's evident in the stories you tell and the way you tell it it's so beautiful thank you so much to be a part thank of thank you thank you so much thank you bye bye to you